Hi everyone, this is 3-1 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number 4 of my Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory update video. So, as always, let's get started. We're going to go to start and then we're going to click um, my computer and then we're going to go up to view system information and then we can zoom in. Now we can see that this is now a 3.8 gigahertz um, CPU that's been installed. Now it's got 2.5 uh, gigs of RAM. Okay, now that you've seen that one, we're going to take and go over to our other 5150 at the other desk. Now this one, this one has the um, four gigs of memory in it so I'll pull that one up let's see we'll go to my computer information now as we can see this one is uh, the 3.8 also now this one has four gigs of memory but this CPU is known to be such a, a a strong CPU it really guzzles memory and only reduces the four gigs of memory down to um, 3.24 gigs of RAM so these um, definitely do eat a lot of memory and that's why they, they really require the four gigs to operate and perform smoothly. Now I'll take and do a little demonstration and we're going to go to my program that runs our high definition um, animation. Now this is one of the videos I made more recent and I'll pull that up. Now this is running at 1080p and so you guys can see you can hear the cooling fan as it's running the 1080p start to speed up on the, um, the 5150. The animation is so hot that really these also require water cooling on the CPU eventually we're going to switch them over but for right now they seem to work pretty well we'll go to full screen with it so you can see but you can see this is full screen at 1080p now this is Sony's program and their program is compressed that's why we really can't I can't take their program and transfer it to YouTube. I have to run it through converters so YouTube can accept and normally we can't run 1080p on YouTube because it overwhelms the system the, that they have so we have to run it down to 720p for our high definition now. So anyway so you guys can see you know this this really uh, the computer really performs well for what it is and you can see that um, it is handling this where the other computers I have if I turn this on they would fall over and, and start to gag they wouldn't be able to um, run this uh, type of program now yesterday we got a really good comment from one of our YouTube members and he let me know that he felt in his opinion that it would be better if I just left the 3.0 CPU in uh, from the factory and just upgraded the memory to 4 gigs and he felt that would be a, a better upgrade than to put the 3.8 CPU in the computer. So we're going to go over that and um, basically he's right the computer would speed up um, pretty good with the four gigs of uh, memory in it and for most people 
this computer with 3.0 and, and 4 gigs of RAM would be like a lightning bolt. But unfortunately, for what I use the computer for, um, it's not going to help me that much because what I really require out of the computer is the fastest that it can possibly be. So we're going to go over that and I'm going to show you guys what I do with a computer um, in making video and animation next. These are some of my editing systems that I have on my desktop as we can see on the computer. Now most of these for editing high definition pretty much all have the same requirement of the, of the computer and that's to have a dual core. Now we don't have a dual core and we're not doing this with a dual core. The way we're able to get away with it is because we have the 3.8 processor that allows this animation at such a high resolution to um, be able to work and um, allow us to be able to edit for our videos for YouTube. Okay now I'm going to bring up my HD video editing system. Now we're working on editing right now episode number four and this is it inside my system here and what I'm going to do is demonstrate what will happen. Now once I click this to start the resolution is so hot coming in at 1080p and being run through this program to make a clearer video for YouTube that the um, it runs in glitches even the 3.8 is a little bit underpowered typically to run this type of um, program the computer really requires to be a dual core at the the least now I'm gonna click start and you can see it runs in glitches now the cooling fans gonna start picking up in speed when this start. thing starts to play and now we're gonna click um, you should be able to hear the cooling fan start to kick on while this is uh, running and now I have to edit these videos in this way where they're running in glitches now if I had the 3.0 CPU in here eventually what would happen is it just freezes and stalls the computer and locks it up after about a minute or two of editing so the 3.8 is actually able to operate it and should have a water cooling system on the CPU but we don't have that on right now I've been using it for about six months the way it is and we're starting to get, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to the way it works. Eventually we're going to put it into a video, putting the water cooling system on the CPU. But right now I haven't had enough time to research and work on that for right now. So I'll turn the volume up a little bit and we can see our meter see right here place. as it's see traveling that? along. That one we're, we're gonna through the clips. And go over to our, our other. This is our time frame line for making this uh, at the other video. Yes. Memory in this is a 240 socket and um, I purchased memory uh, quite a while ago and then I, I got some more recently to finish up this example project for you guys to see but I accidentally grabbed um, two of the wrong memories so what we had to do was just put install two gigs of memory right now and then we reinstalled the original 256 the two pieces of 256 so we've only brought our memory up inside this new example computer to uh, two and a half gigs now the original um, computer that we edit and make the videos with does have four gigs of memory in it the um, CPU really requires uh, to have four gigs of memory and some of the paperwork that I'm putting up um, I believe it shows that in there so well we're just about out of time again for episode number four and I hope you guys stay tuned in for our next episode on the Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory upgrade video so until next time this is 3-1-Pockets and thanks for watching